Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm here to give you guys my review of The Walking Dead, Season 8, Episode 15, and this episode is called Worth, and it came out on April 8th, 2018. Um, overall, I thought this was a great episode of The Walking Dead, I'll just say that right now. I thought this did a really good job setting up to the season finale um, for the next episode, uh, where they're going to have, obviously, probably the final war between uh, the militia and... Um, the Saviors, and you really saw more of the Saviors in this episode. I think that makes sense, since they're being, uh, since they're going to probably be killed off in the next episode. Now, obviously, I don't really know if that's necessarily going to happen, because obviously things could change, but I would imagine that it would, because I don't really see the need to con finish, to continue this storyline, especially in this season. You've done so much, um, you, um, Building to this war, if you don't end it in the if you don't end it in the next episode, a lot of fans would have gotten left disappointed. And um, also, the storyline's been going on pretty much since the uh, like the like they've slowly been building to it since the um, like the mid midpoint of season six. It was like about the mid season premiere because that's when you first kind of saw the first signs. Of the saviors, you could even go back to as far as maybe like season six, episode um, six, when um, obviously Daryl was kidnapped in the woods by Dwight and his wife Sherry, just because you know that's kind of like where you saw the first glimpses of the saviors. But uh, this has pretty much been going on for a while, and I think it's probably time to end it because I think the storyline will get will probably get extremely stale. To some people, it is kind of stale. I thought I I, I I don't think the storyline is completely stale, uh, but I think if you don't end it in the next in the next episode, the storyline would get extremely stale. And obviously, we know that the saviors are going to be taken out, but obviously, uh, it's the light in that matters about how it happens. So they did do like a big side storyline that'll kind of address Aaron still um in the woods of Oceanside and um. Pretty much, he still wants to convince um, the Oceanside community to join up with him, um, to join up with the militia and take out the saviors. So, uh, the, well, um, I think like every day, uh, Cindy, um, her niece, I don't remember her name off the top of my head. Um, oh, hello, sister, I don't really um, know the... Um, their names. I honestly don't really know their names, but um, they uh, oh, dropped the remote. <laughs> but yeah, I don't know her name. But they've been checking out to see if he's still out there, and he killed. He ended up killing a walker that was about to attack him, and but he's like completely dehydrated and hasn't eaten. So they're just gonna pretty much gonna let him die out there, and then. The next time they cut to the scene, um, Aaron just starts killing walkers left and right, and um, eventually he just gets ex absolutely exhausted, and the rest of the community um, are, try are looking down on him, and Aaron tells him to join into the world because the, the saviors have, are still hurting you. They've made you feel for to trust any other communities, and if you don't join the fight, you're going to continue to be this way for the rest of your lives. Um, so you can join the fight and help eliminate the saviors, and you'll find salvation. I don't think he said it the way I did, but that's pretty much what, he, what his point was. Um, and we don't really know whether or not they end up joining the fight. I think, obviously, they're going to end up joining the fight. Maybe that's going to be, like, the big surprise in the next episode, um, is that they'll end up joining the fight. Uh, but overall, I thought this was a nice thing they did in the storyline, uh, because it was, like, it kind of broke up the minority Throughout this episode, it wasn't probably necessary, but you needed to see something from it, so I liked it. It would get enough. Um, and I liked Aaron's character here. It makes sense because he lost his partner um, doing all this crap, so uh, it makes sense for him to want to get revenge, um, you know, um, on the Saviors and having the Oceanside join in, because then that's like a guaranteed win for the um, for his community. All right, then the next storyline that took place through this episode was everything that went on with Dale Rosita um, and Eugene. Um, Eugene um, pretty much is um, 
one in the, uh, you know, one in the um, outposts. And he talks about, he pretty much um, talks about how now they don't have to really worry about as much about producing as many bullets as they can since uh, Negan is no longer in the picture. And they can just kind of do it more exponentially. And then he finds that a bullet has been tampered with. And obviously he knows that Gabriel did it. And Gabriel says that he did it because he doesn't want his people to die. And Eugene tells Gabriel that um, he will kill him um, if um, he tampers with another bullet and tells him that, uh, that they're the people now. And then Gabriel and Eugene both realize that the one thing they have in common is that they both will do any means, whatever it takes to live. And Gabriel realizes he's gone back to his old roots from back in uh, season five when he uh, locked all of his uh, people out of his church. Um, and he said that he um, that this is God's way of getting back at him. So then Eugene tells him that he can't shoot any more bullets, so he sends him in to sit in the corner. And Eugene wants to go test these bullets now and make sure um, that um, Gabriel hasn't fucked up any more of them. And what happens is uh, one of the guys, one of the saviors goes out there with Eugene and um, Daryl murders him. He shoots him right, right through the head with his crossbow. And Daryl and uh, Rosita take uh, Eugene hostage. And Eugene thinks that they're taking him because of the trying to save him because they're his friends. Um, but you, they all tells him to shut up, shut up. And, um, Eugene tells him that he, um, the reason he admitted that he made the bullet back in the mid season finale of season seven is because, no, he obviously didn't say back in the season, mid season finale. I'm just saying that, but he says that, um, because, um, he wanted to save her life and he thought he was going to get tortured by the saviors. But he didn't. They gave him sanctuary and they treated him like a kin. And they made it help them live. And the saviors could have helped everybody else do that. But Wick insisted on fighting the saviors. And this obviously sets a fire underneath Rosita. And she tells him that you, um, you know, you turned your back on your friends. The only real friends you've ever had in this world. And he, she talks about how a lot of people now have died since you helped the walkers escape the sanctuary, and she said that um, they're not going um, to treat Eugene like a friend. They're going to treat him like a prisoner. The only thing they're going to use him for is his brain. But other than that, he's just going to be kept and locked up in the dark. And uh, obviously, this pisses off Eugene. And then what happens is they come across a herd of walkers, and Daryl um, executes him as Rosita, uh, makes sure he doesn't escape. And Eugene sticks his fingers down his throat and earlier in the episode he had eaten some sort of like macaroni and cheese or something and um he ended up throwing up all over Rosita and he ends up escaping. I actually like this because it makes you, Eugene looks very smart and resourceful and he goes up, um, across this uh place um that's filled with uh gravel and Daryl and Rosita pass it and they um Run by, run by, um, to search for him, where we found out Eugene buried himself underneath it, and then you'll, um, and then I'll get back to what happens actually, because this is the last you've seen of Eugene. But overall, I'm gonna give everything they did with Eugene up. I thought this was a uh, very good um, stuff. But then we have the main storyline that took place, and that's everything that went on kind of back at the sanctuary. Well, first, what happens is um, Rick. We find out what Rick wrote. Um, in his letter to Carl. We found out in this episode, which I was happy about. I'm kind of happy they kicked it right off with it. I still think they should have uh, done it in the last episode, but that's just me. Um, pretty much, Rick, we found out that Carl remembers all the good times um, when he was a kid before the zombie apocalypse broke out. Um, he remembers, um, you know, going to school. He remembers... Um, Friday night pizzas. He remembered all the things that he never really thought about at the time. I mean, uh, uh, that he kind of took, not really for granted, but that he remembers all those good feelings. And he wants Rick, and he felt like he was safe. And Carl always wanted to grow up and have a family, but 
Um, I also want to grow, you taught me to grow up to be safe. And he wants Rick to have that same feeling. He wants Rick to feel safe. And he wants Rick, whether that, and he kind of wishes when he went back to the sanctuary that he had killed Negan. Uh, so that way, um, everybody would be, would feel like they're safe. But, um, then he reveals that, um, you know, um, that, um, he couldn't do it, but Rick can still make this right. You can find some sort of peace with Negan other than killing him and get all those other workers and stuff. And you can create that same type of world again. You can have Judith be a part of that world. And I like this scene a lot. It, um, it, this, de this definitely doesn't really change Carl not being alive. I guess they wanted to have Carl dead so that way he could write this stuff out and Rick would honor it. Um, or maybe possibly would. But you, you didn't really need to have Carl die because you still feel like that his presence is missed. When, um, especially when you watch the episodes following. Um, a lot of people may or not have liked Chandler Ritz's acting as Carl. But... There's a ton of reasons why you shouldn't have killed Carl off. And this is... Watching these episodes makes me definitely realize it. Um, I've talked about that already, so I'm not really going to get into that. Because this kind of isn't the place for it. So, then what happens is... Um, Michonne grabs the letter for Negan. And this kind of becomes like a little bit of a plot device that they do later on in the episode. So, then what happens is... Um, um, back at the sanctuary, Gregory's talking with, uh, Simon, and, um, Gregory, you know, pretty much kind of wants to have some sort of truce between him and the saviors, and then Simon reveals that he's the man in charge now, and he says that he was going to kill Gregory because they get into an altercation and Gregory doesn't want to just leave, um, he goes off on him and Simon, um, cheap shots him. And he said that he was going to kill him, but um, he says that he couldn't be useful. And then Negan um, meets up with Dwight and, um, you know, um, Negan um, at first kind of questions why Dwight just left him uh, to be beaten down by Rick and all those other decomposers. But he, Dwight reveals that it was a Simon call, and as this happens, they move a dumpster which that becomes kind of important. And um, he says that he's not, uh, cool with everything that happened, and he said that he wants to keep this conversation between him and Dwight. Now, the reason he wants to keep this conversation between them is because it comes becomes very important. So then what happens is um, Negan, Dwight, and Simon, and the rest of the leaders of the Saviors um, have, an apolog um, have a conversation, and Simon apologizes um for leaving uh, Negan um, left almost left for dead and going um, and going through the extinction, but he wants a chance um, to make it up to Negan. Um, and Negan at first tells him to get on his knees, and he's about to beat the shit out of him with Lucio. Lucio, at least that's what we're supposed to have thought. But then Negan says that he's forgiven because then he talks about how him and Simon took over this place. Um, Simon was always kind of loose headed and hot headed, but um, then he reveals that, um, he always had, to, he would constantly call, um, watch over and make sure that he's kept in check. And he always has kept, been kept in check, um, and, um, until now. And then obviously, then that whole bat, the other scene happens, which I kind of ruined because I just, um, that stuff, but whatever. And then Negan reveals a new plan that they're going to have multiple outposts set around um, the hilltop where they're going to have snipers um, ex um, kill uh, one by one each members of the hilltop. And they're going to have different groups go out there. And then he dismisses the group, but he leaves Dwight to talk by himself. And he appreciates Dwight's loyalty towards him. After all the shit that Negan's done to him, he's remained loyal because he's been keeping an eye out for him. Now, Negan says this a lot throughout this episode, and um, we, I was kind of questioning why they were kind of doing that in this episode, but then we found out why. Um, then what happens is um, Simon has a private conversation with Dwight, and he wants him, 
Um, and him and a, he reveals that him and a group of people aren't a fan of the way Negan's been running things, and they're gonna um, kill Negan, and, and he wants to kill Negan so they can go forth, go forth with their plan and just completely eliminate the Hilltop. So Dwight goes in on the plan, and we see a bunch of people out there, um, and Simon reveals how the plan's gonna go down, saying that it's just gonna be a casual meeting, then we'll kill him, and then we'll go eliminate the Hilltop, and we'll move forward. But then we revealed that Negan was listening behind the dumpster, which is why they moved the dumpster in the be um, beginning of the, well, um, towards the beginning of the episode anyways. And they actually communicate, um, and um, they kill, all Negan has men kill all of uh, the men that were going to um, kill si um, Negan, except for um, Gregory Dwight and Simon. And he holds Simon hostage, and Negan's not happy about the way Simon's been performing. So he tells pretty much Simon that if you want um, to take this place over, you want to be the man, you got to beat the man. So this leads into a fist fight, um, well, just a fight between Negan and Simon. And Simon says that he didn't want, gives a speech that he didn't want this to go down this way, but uh, the person who t finished this war isn't Negan. So then he takes a cheap shot at Negan. They get into an altercation. And during this fight, um, which this was a very good fight, by the way, Simon, um, not Simon, sorry, Dwight takes Gregory aside and he wrote on the map the whole plan that uh, Negan had come up with and he wants Gregory to take it to the hilltop uh, to let, to, so that way he can warn the militia. So Gregory goes to do it. And then we see that Simon kills no, sorry, not Simon. Negan kills Simon. That's a big time mess up. Negan kills Simon. And Negan then reveals that because of you, now I have to permanently eliminate the hilltop. Um, but yeah, he, he ended up choking him to death. And then what happens is uh, Negan tells Dwight, um, he, and he thanks him for being loyal. And um, he also says that now because si he, Simon was his right-hand man, and now that he's dead... Dwight's now going to be his right hand man, and then Dwight says that I'm going to help you finish this war with Rick and the Hilltop, and then Negan says that you already have. But that I thought it was going to be like some sort of like thing where Negan was just saying that, but Dwight knew more um, than he thought. Um, but then what happens? I had to make sure about about I had. But then what happens, yeah, so, but Dwight knew more, but Dwight knew more than he thought, but then what happens is Dwight goes in his room, and who do we see, none other than there, but Lawler. This was the person that got into that shootout, uh, that ended up escaping, and sees that Dwight murdered his own people, and Negan is, so this explains why Negan kept what, um, saying to Dwight how he's so happy he's been so loyal. This was who Negan picked up at the towards the end of the episode in the last seat in the last episode. So Negan reveals that the plan that he came up with uh, that Dwight had Gregory send over was um, a bullshit plan. They're going to really counteract their attack um, a different way. And um, then what happens is. Um, Negan reveals that he doesn't that he didn't kill Dwight originally because he uh, murder would be too easy for a backstabbing bitch like you, and he says he's got other plans for him. And I liked this a lot. It was a, definitely a nice twist because you would have thought that Dwight was gonna end up, that, that that it was gonna happen in the final episode where Dwight was gonna end up uh, where Negan and Dwight everything was gonna be all fine. And then ne Dwight would end up turning on Negan, but that's not what happened. So I liked this a lot. And the end of the episode comes when Mashon, um radios in and reads the letter to... And also we see um, that Simon's hanging up by the um, fence as a walker. But, but then we see the ending of the episode um, happen when uh, Mashon reads the letter that Carl wrote to Negan. And it says that uh, he wants... Um, Negan to find some sort of peace, um, because it doesn't matter if you end up killing all of, um, if you end up winning the war with the Hilltop, you're still going to end up, um, having to fight somebody else, but he wants Negan to have some sort of peace. 
But Negan reveals that surrender isn't an option anymore. He's not going to stop until he kills um, everybody at the hilltop. And then he crushes his radio saying that they're done talking. And then that was the end of the episode. Well, I thought this episode, it was great. I'm going to give it a B. It was a great episode. Um, I thought it did a great job really building up to the season finale of um, the, um, season six. Sorry, no, season eight, episode 16. And I can't wait to see what happens there. I have, and I'm really looking forward to it. So uh, that's pretty much all I have to say. Now we're going to finally, I think, get some sort of culmination to the um, storyline between Rick and Negan. So I liked it. Um, and yeah, overall, everything the, everything was great. I loved the stuff they did with Simon and everything. It was great. So yeah, that's pretty much my review of this episode. Please make sure you guys like, comment, and share this video so people will watch it. Make sure you guys subscribe to this channel for more content and click on the bell. So that way, every time I upload a video, you guys will get the notifications for it. And that's pretty much it, guys. Talk to you later.